Alright guys, we're here at uh, Tactical Combat Academy, just going to go over maybe not so legal leg lock series that we used to do back in the day. So let's say Bobby and I are sitting down here, he's in guard. I want to go for the ankle lock position. Before I even get the position, I need to know how to grip. Basically this part of his ankle, I want to end up in this part of my wrist. So a drill that we do sometimes here is I'll start high because that's what happens a lot of times. I'll grip up, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shimmy down the leg, shimmy, 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 until I feel that grip. I'm not even worried about the ankle lock, this is just gripping stuff. So I'm here, start high, shimmy, 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 until I feel the grip. So that's just the gripping part of the ankle lock. So, however I break his guard, his guard's broke. What I want to do is not pull this leg up first. Because if I put this up, he knows I can only do one thing. I can only ankle lock. I can't pass guard from this position. If I bring my knee up in the center, now I have options. I can swim underneath and pass. I can knee cut and pass. Or what I can do if I'm going to ankle lock is I'm going to cup right at the knee. I'm not reaching back. I'm cupping at the knee, which is part of the drill. From here, just be careful when your partner's nuts. Here, you can cover. I'm going to swing this leg from here and put it right on his ribs, here. But look how I kept him tight. A lot of guys you'll see will be way out here. It's easier for him to pull his ankle out. And it's also easy for him to start bailing and pull his leg out. So I want to keep this space tight here and here. And this is where that drill comes in. Now I shimmy, shimmy, shimmy down to the ankle. I get my grip, whatever grip you prefer. Here's the secret to it. I'm not going to arch here because look at that angle. I mean, I'll get this. Look how long it's taken. Look, from here, I'm going to lay my head. Be nice with this. I'm going to lay my head down on the ground. Here. Now watch all the difference in the arch. Boom. So when I, when I do the ankle lock, look what my shoulder does. This one dips. The back one goes up. See the motion? Just like I woke and sleeping. I woke up in the morning and I'm stretching. So we're here. So this would be IBJJF legal. Now we're going to go into a little bit of illegal. He doesn't like this, so he's going to start going this way. As he starts rolling away, I'm going to go with him. I'm going to triangle my legs here. Now I'm going to go into a heel hook. But here's the difference. A lot of guys try to heel hook from here. This hurts, but here's how I'm going to get the good angle for it. I'm going to now up and turn my hip in. The difference here will break the ankle. Here, it's going to break the ankle and pop his knee. Here, I can get hip. See how he's already reacting to it? Hip, knee, and then from here, the finish would be I'm gonna let go of his leg, but I would just rip this way. That's gonna break the shin, probably in the middle, tear the knee, pop the ankle, and it could also dislocate the hip. Here. So now maybe he doesn't like this. So now he, yeah, he takes it here for me. Now I'm just gonna switch right into my inverted. I keep the same grip here and here. I pinch down on the knee, and then I go here. If he rolls, he's going to basically break his own knee. Because he's rolling into the pressure now, which is going to allow, if he was here, and he's, I would just pop. And again, the, the difference is it's wrist, not forearm. I want my wrist in here. It's a big difference between here and up in here for it. Here, here. I want here. Now it gives me more arc and more of my arm to turn. If I'm here, I shorten up the distance compared to the full body length that I can get here. So again, for this series, and then I'll show you one more ankle lock that we like off this. So I'm in here playing around, we're messing around, boom, I keep tight. Now I work my grip, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Get it, lay down, start to stretch. He doesn't like that, he's like, oh, I gotta go. He starts rolling away, I control the legs first, get my grip. Boom. Look, the, why I triangle my legs? My legs aren't triangle. Go ahead, roll. You can separate, roll. I triangle my leg. This leg is going to work. Try to roll. This stops him from rolling. By this time, I'm already cranking the, the, the heel hook, so it allows me to get my ankle. He doesn't like that. He starts to pull out. I readjust my knees. Remember, wrist, not forearm coming back in. So those are couples that I like. Another thing that I like for this, another good ankle lock from here, why I have my knee in the middle. Sometimes I don't like to sit down. This is the one that I personally like to do. I'm going to get my grip kind of tight here. 
I'm just going to drive, you good? Drive this knee down, and now I'm going to go right to the ankle. Here and here, this is probably one of the more powerful ankle walk. Now from here, I'm just going to dip this shoulder and look away from it. Here. So one more time, sorry. We're here, I come up inside, I get low here and here, and then it's just looking away. So those are a couple of the non-legal IBJJF ankle locks that we like to play around with. Uh, so just give them a go. Just be careful when the heel hooks, especially if you get that deep angle because it starts turning the hip and the knee before you even put the hold on.